Ah! Hey there! Dude with a degree here and welcome to the first video of this channel. Today I'm going to try breaking this hard drive by screaming at it. What, you think this idea is nonsense and I'm just stupid? Well, you might be right on the ladder. But give me at least a chance to prove my point before closing this video. In the year 2009, the user Brian Cantrill uploaded a video where he explained how shouting at functioning hard drives significantly reduces their performance because of the vibrations that the sounds create. Video linked in the description. An easy and practical example of this could be my phone playing a tone at a constant frequency with a sound system that amplifies the volume enough to move a still object. Okay, I have my cell phone here with a very smashed screen, but whatever. And I'm going to play this uh, 100 Hz sine wave with the help of my soundbar. And uh, we're gonna see. Now, if you look closely, if the camera focuses, maybe. Okay. You can see that the soundbar itself is moving away from this 3D printed cube really really slowly so yeah that's basically uh, a movement um, that uh, the sound forces the soundbar to make another article written by ABC points out how loud sounds can actually kill hard drives article link in the video description with that said, I know that people don't just go screaming uh, at hard drives in data centers or uh, just, you know, set off fire extinguishing systems to kill them. So I'll need to recreate a more realistic scenario. That's why I'm going to use this laptop hard drive. Many laptops, especially older ones, still use older magnetic hard drives instead of solid state memory. Also, many people use 2.5 inch hard drive for USB external storage, so this experiment might still make sense. So maybe you could reduce your hard drive's lifespan or just kill it all together by screaming at it. Who knows? We're gonna try and see if that's true or not. I don't have a soundproof room, so I'm going to conduct this experiment in my closet, using some blankets for creating at least a bit of sound dampening. I will use my phone's microphone to record the intensity of my screams. Ah! After 10 screams, I have recorded a mean value of 86 decibels, with a maximum and a minimum value of 88 and 84 decibels respectively. Now I'm going to put the hard drive on the ground and connect it to my laptop. Ok, now we're going to run some preliminary benchmarks to understand how our disk behaves before getting screamed at. And there you go, the drive has just finished the benchmark. And as you can see here, the data are quite underwhelming. Even a cheaper SSD can uh, outperform this old hard drive without even trying. So yeah, let's just see if uh, this dude here will survive our stress torture test. First of all, I want to know if screaming can be enough to kill a spinning but idling hard drive. Ah! 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 Okay, so screaming at a hard drive while it's idling does not damage anything. Who would have thought? Okay, moving on, I'm going to scream at the hard drive while it's reading and writing. Let's see if it does anything. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh wow! Oh, okay! Okay, as you can see here, if my camera allows me to zoom in. Okay, so as you can see here, during this part, this first part of the benchmark, while I was screaming, the hard drive's performance dropped significantly. Now, uh, I don't know if it was because I accidentally moved it or it was because of the screaming, so I'm going to do it again and uh, I won't stop screaming until the benchmark is uh, totally over. Okay, here we go. Ah! 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 
Got a brief. Ah! Oh! 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 Ooh. Okay, we're almost done. Ah! Oh! Ah! 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 Okay, okay, almost there. Ah! 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 Jesus Christ! Ah! 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 Why is it not over? Ah! Okay. Okay. Okay, we're done. Jesus Christ, my throat. Okay. Let's have a look at the data. Okay. Wow. It turns out I was correct after all. As you can see from the data here, whenever I shouted, both writing and reading speed dropped dramatically. So shouting at a hard drive impacts its performance. It totally does. And you don't need a very fancy setup to make it happen. You just need to scream in front of it. Okay, moving on. This uh, analysis was very interesting, but we didn't manage to kill the hard drive yet. We need to introduce the big guns. Introducing the double air horn. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's fucking loud. I gotta wear some ear protection for this one. Okay, now that we're done, let's kill this drive. Okay, we're ready to kill this hard drive with our air horn. Ready, go. <laughs> kill it the air horn was not enough to kill it and our drive deserves a break he totally deserves it he, it has completed our benchmark successfully let's have a look at the data before we call it in okay so as you can see here the hard drive did not die it managed to pull through and uh, the air horn uh, reduced, uh, drastically reduced uh, its performance, but was not enough to kill it. Maybe if we ran our torture test continuously, keeping sounding the air horn until the drive died, we easily could have killed it. But we have to say that in a realistic scenario, you basically can't kill your hard drive if you just scream in front of it once or twice. However, the conclusion of this video is actually quite simple. First of all, don't shout at your hard drives when you're using them. And uh, second of all, move to solid state drive when you have the chance. It's actually so much better.
I'm a dude with a degree and I will see you in the next video. Hello? Hello? Ah!